starting another weekly vlog it's friday which means i'll stop playing music <laughs> um hello hello Gemma's here so you've made tea again haven't you yeah the hello fresh this week came through with all of well, i'm gonna shut your head off the hello <laughs> fresh because i sat down <laughs> the hello fresh this week came with all the meals didn't it it did which is an improvement on last week by a whole 25% 25% better this week than it was yeah. last week um, food's been really good so far, no complaints really to be honest so. we had like a Mexican wedges and spicy beef yesterday didn't yeah, we? yeah like loaded wedges and was it was it beef or was it chicken? it, it was, was chicken it wasn't was it? chicken last night yeah. and then tonight is a like a porky parpadel pasta mm -hmm. and we added some garlic bread because we're greedy boys I know it's a big portion for Hello mm -hmm. Freshers I feel like I shouldn't have used all the pasta no, probably not, as it was a big bag of pasta. Yeah. Oh, well, you know me, I like pasta. It's so. supposed to be portions, but in the mm. Mexican one last night, they said to only use half of the black beans that they gave us, which I thought was a bit wasteful. Cause yeah, I would have easily eaten all of them black beans because they were really nice. They were not. Beans are not my favourite thing. I ate them in the meal. Yeah. It didn't really taste of anything, but the thought of putting all those extra ones in didn't appeal. Did you throw them out? Yeah. Oh, I was going to see if I could make some um, refried oh, beans. Oh, beans you probably could off with them as well. No, was it, you need loads of extra stuff. But... You have to divide it into half, mash half yeah. of them, and then um, just put hot whole ones Oh, well, I'm not getting them out of the bin. No. So what are we doing this weekend? Um, which Father's Day? Oh, it is, yes. We're going to go and see Dad's. Father's? Probably yeah. tomorrow, aren't we? We're going to go and see Dad. Yeah, wherever. Mm. And then we might go out for a ride to New Brighton on oh, Sunday. Sunday. The weather's not supposed to be very good, but um, I kind of decided I want a new car. So we're going to go and do a little bit of window shopping, see what we can see. Last time we did window shopping, we bought a Kia Soul. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've just, I've just done an aircon clean on the car, so I'm hoping that'll help. Remember last week when we mentioned um, very briefly that we wanted to paint the gaps at some point in the future? And I said that I wanted to set them down, to be honest. Well, today the decision was made for us because as I went to op uh, to close the gates after I put the car on the drive, one of them fell off in my hand. <laughs> and it's not like repairable, it's failed at the weld that held... Well, it is repairable if you can weld, I can't, but uh, it failed at the weld, so... Uh, I've taken them off and put them in the back garden, and that's where they'll stay until I can get someone to weld it. And that's then we might paint stay. them. That's where they'll, that's where they'll stay. <laughs> But anyway, we'll uh, probably catch up with you later. Good Saturday morning. I don't think we have vlogged again last night. Um, the meal we had from HelloFresh was really nice, uh, very filling. I think, as Gemma said, she maybe didn't need to do quite as much pasta as she did, but that'd be one we'd definitely order again. Um, we are going to give them a few more weeks because this week's delivery, as Gemma said, everything was present. Although we have heard from a number of you that um, that they do occasionally forget things. Um, what else is going on? Uh, I probably need to mow the lawns again today, every time. Well, they're starting to get along again. It's like two weeks since I mowed them, so fair enough. Um, not really got a lot planned. Uh, we're kind of building up towards, we got four days off next week, so we're gonna have a little bit of a break and a bit of a rest. Maybe get out into town again. For Gemma's birthday, we want to go and get something for some food or something like that. Uh, excuse the light changing, I'm doing my usual thing when I wander around the house when I'm vlogging because I can't just do one thing. <laughs> um, at some point, I need to get out in the garden, in the front garden, and because we've now got the situation where the drive gets gone, it's fallen off. Uh, but we also have the path gate, uh, so that's never really hung straight. So I think I'm going to take that down as well. I actually now that the get drive gates are off, I agree with Gemma, and I preferred them being there. So I may, if I can find someone who can weld, look at trying getting them repaired at some point in the future. Uh, as for the car, I mentioned last week we were getting the vinegary smell, so last night I did one of those aircon cleaners, because uh, I'm, I'm thinking now it's actually the, the uh, condenser has got like like residue on it from five six years of running because that car is a 15 plate so it's like six years old now um and that's why we're kind of thinking of maybe exchanging it i actually really like the car so i'm in a quite a good position really because i can go into a car showroom and say look uh, i've got this car it's got some equity in it not a huge amount but enough for a deposit i'm looking at your car on the, on the lot there that's like you know the car park there that's, that's like maybe three years old what do you want to do do you want to can you give me a deal on it um and obviously car showrooms at the minute are really struggling so cars are changing 
hands very quickly. I've been struggling because of the chip shortage, so you can't get new cars in, so second hand cars prices have risen. So while my car has risen in price, the price of the car that may replace it has also risen in price. Um, <coughs> but I have seen a couple of cars that I like. Um, now there's two models, so I want to go back to Mazda again. Always liked Mazda. We had three Mazda 2s prior to the Kia. And we enjoyed driving those, so we're thinking of going back there. And as well, it's one of those, the Kia dealer that we went with, we didn't like. We stopped getting the car serviced there because we just, they were one of those, they tried to charge me about £500 for brake work. Uh, I took it to a trusted mechanic who told me, you just need pads on the front, the discs are fine, and then one of your calipers on the rear is a little bit sticky, but I've sprayed it and keep an eye on it, and it's been fine since. Uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm aware at some point that I'll need probably a repair. Um, I've lost my thread now. But yeah, the Mazda dealer that we used to go to was like, I mean, they charge you Mazda dealer prices, so you were paying a lot, but they weren't like looking for work every time they fixed the car. They'd be honest about it. They'd be like, yeah, you've got, your pads will need changing, but you've got about, you know, 3,000 miles left on them and stuff like that. And your discs are fine. Uh, so we kind of want to go back to them purely because, like, once you find a good dealer, you kind of want to stick to them, don't you? So like a drug dealer now. <laughs> So we'll probably look at we'll probably look at driving down. It's over in New Brighton. So we'll we'll have a look at that tomorrow. Um, I'm not saying I will buy a car, but I kind of feel like it's probably about the time because I've got a situation. Well, that car's paid for in a year, so if I don't buy one now, I'll buy one next year because uh, I'll have like all the equity of the car will be you know straight profit then. Well, not profit because I've paid a fortune and I'm selling it for much less. But that's cars. Uh, anyway, enough about cars and waffling. Uh, laptops and waffling. Still not found one that I want yet. Well, I have found one that I want, but I'm still waiting for my refund through from Dell. They said it could be five to seven days after they received the laptop. Um, they would have received the laptop on Monday, so it should be next week that I get that refund through. If not, I can get in touch with them and ask her where it is. Uh, strangely, I had a cashback offer through Halifax with them, so it was like, buy a Dell laptop and we'll give you £80 cashback. Uh, and that's now sat on my account waiting to be paid. I'm assuming when I get the refund that I'll go back. So I'm not too concerned about that. Because um, they haven't actually paid it yet, so they'll eventually reconcile the sale and say that sale didn't go ahead, and then they'll get the money back. Although I did do that in the past with Microsoft Office, I got like a nine pound cash back, and they never took the money back when I cancelled it because it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Um, anyway, what else? Uh, we have two pints on the go, so the craft beer is coming along well. The double IPA that I did last week is now in the fridge, and the Hey, wow, where are wow, the batteries on the ZV-1 do run out quickly? Although it was last week's battery that I was using, so I'm not entirely surprised. I've got to say uh, thanks to all the people who left comments on our Instagram with things to do in Cornwall. That's been really helpful. And Sarah too left a comment on the YouTube video uh, telling us a good place to go if they get a pasty, <laughs> which is the information I need. Um, really looking forward to that trip now. Uh, I think we mentioned we mentioned that we're stopping off on Bristol, in Bristol on the way down there uh, so I can start members of the Oxcast. Um, uh, on the way back, I don't know if we mentioned, but Gemma's booked us a bed and breakfast near to Bath. Well, it's actually about halfway between Bath and Bristol, uh, but it's like a riverside bed and breakfast. It looks quite nice. So we're going to stop on the way back as well. So it splits the drive up both days to three and a half hours ish. So that's that's nice rather than our Scotland trip. I think I probably pushed it a bit too hard driving seven hours in one day. Um, not really hard, but just like it became less of a pleasant drive and a bit of an explore on the way down and more of a let's get there as soon as we can, even though we did manage to stop off at places. Uh, so that should be good. Um, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I'm kind of thinking maybe now is a good time to use it to, to get a new car as well, because it'd be nice to do a drive in a, in a car that's maybe more suited than a mid-size SUV for long distances. Uh, but we'll see what happens. A delightfully uneventful afternoon so far. <laughs> it's surrounded by kitty cats. You can't see them the long cam. Um, oh, you got some ears there. Yeah, did a little bit of streaming. Got the refund through from my laptop. I was thinking it'd be next week, but they've done it today, which is nice. So I can start looking for the replacement for that now. Did, this guy interrupted me while I was uh, planning Zoo streaming. Yeah, uh, sat on the keyboard and deleted things out of my Zoo, which was cute. Goodbye. 
somehow I've been roped into doing the um, the tea tonight, which is going to be this chow mein. Again, it's a hello fresh one. All the ingredients and the um, pick and mix. Uh, pepper's not the best. A little bit squishy on top. But yeah, I'm going to cook this now. About 20 minutes later, and it looks good. It smells amazing as well. Jenna's home. You alright, sweetie? Yeah. Enjoy your chow mein. It smells lovely. It does, it, it, and very easy to cook as well, 20 minutes. Easy. It must be easy to cook as you do there. Shush you, you know I cook often. <laughs> did you enjoy your chow mein? I did. It's okay. always lovely to have a meal cooked. Um, and now we're trying the layers that we got the other week from American Fizzers. Yeah. Um, these are the, the hot pepperoni hot ones. Pepperoni ones yeah. Mm. It's like a mm -hmm. They are hot. Mm. Thumbs up. Mm. We're also watching Tangled Up in Fun trying Cinnabons for the first time. And you and I are making plans to get more Cinnabons for your birthday. Yeah, because I want the pecan ones. They, they were sold out when we went. Mm -hmm. The pecan ones. I need to try that Cinnabon drink as well. Because even though we've been to Cinnabon quite a few times in America, I've never bought any of the ice drinks. No. Give them a while, have you? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. I like your t-shirt. Thank you. We're going out. We are, yeah. Then we're going to see your dad and then go over to New Brighton for a little bit. Yeah. The weather is actually nice now, isn't it? Yeah, it was supposed the to be raining. Come out. But... It's, it's been backwards and forwards all morning, really, hasn't mm. it? Well, we'll see what happens. We'll take you with us, but it'll probably be beyond the, um, the phone. That was actually. Hmm. We are at the beach. Um, I'd love to say our trip to look at cars was a complete success, but um, the deal it doesn't open on Sundays anymore. <laughs> Which is weird because it's like, you know, one of the two days off a week that I can have off, and, and the, the only day that we can have together. together. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, we did actually go and have a look at a couple of cars though, because they were still on the forecourt. I saw the one that we like. So maybe next weekend we'll try and have a look. Uh, but yeah, we're at New Brighton now and it's lovely, isn't it? It is, yeah. Nice and sunny. It's supposed to be raining today. It so, does look a bit cloudy. Yeah, not rainy cloudy though. No. There's a lot of blue sky over there. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have a walk down to the to the, beach, to the um, town to area. The <laughs> and um, almost get run over by cyclists. Who aren't on the cycle path. Who's that, who aren't on the cycle path. <laughs> Speaking as a cyclist. Normally I find that when I ride in the cycle path it's full of pedestrians. <laughs> Today the pedestrian path is full of cyclists. Uh, we could probably could have parked a bit nearer as well, couldn't we? Because half of the nose how far away we were. Yeah, that's fine. Together. It's a nice day for a walk. Yeah. Until it rains. <laughs> boats on the boating pond today. Apparently it was a news article the other week because people keep swimming in here and it's not suitable for them. There is like a big sea over there you can swim in. <laughs> Slush puppy. Of course we always come to Cafe Cream for some, uh, some mint chop chip ice cream and you've got... Accidental chocolate cake and Oreos and cream. Very nice. Enjoy. It's good. Oh, we're going to head back to the car because those clouds those parts. started to roll in. That's getting a bit in. humid. 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 The wind has changed. Mm -hmm. It's nothing to do with me for once. Back home. Back on the couch again. Back on the couch again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How's your, uh, what's, what, what is this? It is Thai red curry with spicy pork, Thai pork meatballs. Is it nice? Lovely. Good. I've not tried mine yet, but uh, yeah. This is the longest one to cook. Mm -hmm. It's still easy. It just does lots of different steps, that's all. Oh, I see. Okay. But so. It's quite cheeky too. So this is normally, well, last couple of weeks has normally been the point when we close off the weekly vlog. Mm -hmm. But um, I ordered a new laptop last night, so uh, we might pick it up again on Tuesday. Just so unbox that. Got a bug crawling on you. And you've got a bug crawling on you. It's in your little slide. All right. I had the back door open because it was so hot. Uh, and I think we'll postpone the new car shop until next week, <laughs> when when the car place will actually be open. 
and next weekend's your birthday, isn't it? Yeah. So we're going to do hopefully a few things next weekend. Mm -hmm. There's that in time, perhaps, and um, zoo. zoo. Yeah, we're going to get in the zoo. We've got a, a booking for some food at the zoo for your birthday, yeah. so that should be nice. And then at the weekend, no idea what yet. We'll see what the weather does and yeah. what we feel like doing. So it's supposed to be nice, the weather, next weekend. So. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm going to eat some dinner now too. It's Tuesday, which means only one thing. The laptop that I said I was going to open has arrived. I ordered it from Curry's. They delivered it to the store and I collected it. It's very easy. And inside is a change in brand from the last one that I ordered. I went with Lenovo because everyone who reviews laptops online says Lenovo are doing some of the best laptops right now. So let's give it a try and see what we think. I can't see you though. I can't see you on the box at the same time. Shut the box and no one cares about my ugly face. There we go. And there is a kettle cord and a substantial power brick because it's a gaming laptop so it has all the power. All Monster. the power. 300 watt power brick. And also and I know general like these. Some Lenovo stickers. Mm. And inside this foamy stuff we have an advertisement for Lenovo Lemino, <laughs> Lenovo Premium Care. We'll have a look at that later to see if it's worth buying a care package. And one bag. It's a nice bag. Piece of bag yeah. Anyway, we'll see you next week. No. <laughs> and that's the laptop. Looks very snazzy. It just looks like a grey black brick. The point of this laptop is it's a gaming laptop but it looks like you could use it for business. It's very oh, understated. So you can pretend to work. No, we can play in Doom. <laughs> The problem with a lot of the gaming laptops is it looks like it's got go faster stripes and you know and all that stuff on it. Um, but with this one, it's a little bit more understated, which I quite like. I mean, that one's the same. It's quite understated and sensible. So I'm going to put the other hard disk that I've got in here now, and I'll get it set up. One day you'll learn how to stop this, won't you? Probably. What kind of idiot does this to a brand new laptop before they've even started using it? This kind of video. <laughs> Getting the back off this laptop was a real pain compared to the Dell. Uh, just because you're nervous about what to do. I think I'm more familiar with the Dells in, in fairness to myself. But basically now, this PC comes with two SATA slots. For, sorry, M.2 slots for hard disk drives. And it only has half a terabyte of storage. They all seem to at the minute because of the chip shortage, I think. Uh, but I have a one terabyte drive that I'm going to drop in here. So then I'll have one and a half which is great for my um, video editing and things like that. And I might just quickly check on the RAM situation, see if I can put another set of RAM in here or not. One thing this absolutely does win on over the Dell that I just um, said back is that it has this bit here and this little screw thing here, which is um, when I put my next hard drive in, which I'm going to do in a moment, that's like a heat uh, cooler and this, this screw is how you fasten it down. Dell charge you extra for those and, it, and their prices are around 50 to 60 pounds for the parts to do that. Um, I actually ordered a set in from China from AliExpress before I sent the last laptop back. So I do have spares. Anyway, I'm going to put this hard disk in. And the rest of that went back together quite easily. So hopefully now it turns on. I don't see any smoke, any fire or anything. That's always a good sign. The screen works. The battery was completely flat by the way, I just tried it, it gave me a skirt because when I turned it on nothing happened. Uh, but yeah, it's starting up now. So I'll get myself set up now and uh, see how we get on. Towards the bottom of First your thing screen. you do when you get a new laptop is you find out how to shut Cortana up because no one uses Windows, it. Control, and, enter. and after all that we forgot to end the vlog in the end as well. <laughs> Laptop's been fine, uh, I just tried Cyberpunk on it and it was playing it fine. And the last laptop after about 15 minutes it stopped because it would overheat. Um, 
But anyway, yeah, so thanks for watching this weekend's weekly vlog. Not the most exciting, I know. Um, although we did that nice walk on uh, New Brighton, that was lovely. Uh, next weekend is Gemma's birthday weekend, so we'll hopefully get up to a few things, including a zoo visit. Possibly round two of trying to shop for cars. Um, two of these things will have happened already, because this thing only goes, this video only goes live on Friday. Uh, and what else are we planning on doing? Maybe out into town, actually. We want to try and get back to the Baltic market that we mentioned. Possibly have a beer in uh, Dead Crafty or something like that. Should be good. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Like, subscribe, share, ring the bell, play a small piano concerto. See you in the next one. Bye guys.